at Sarah Huckabee Sanders' kids, instantly regrets it. Chelsea Handler is far from a class act. She proved that yet again on Twitter when she thought it was appropriate to go after children. Well, not all Twitter users took too kindly to Chelsea Handler and her repulsive tweet. She has proven she isn't worth wasting any time on for anyone. The disturbing anti-children attack by leftists is truly worrisome. They abort babies and they go after the young ones of conservatives because apparently conservatives are evil and every child on the right is Hitler. The future of this country won't belong to anyone that is awful to people who terrorize and insult people. Why is it acceptable for liberals to go after children? What do you think will be the next attack on conservative children? Share this and embarrass Handler. Make sure that we embarrass everyone who attacks children. President Trump just caught most dangerous traitor yet in White House. Ever since President Trump won the election, there has been a mass of Republicans who haven't been working with him. They've been working against him. It's all an effort to bring him down and re-establish the establishment that enriches them. We have known for a while that Paul Ryan doesn't serve the GOP or the American people. A few days ago, WikiLeaks released information on the Republicans who are working against the American people. Ryan was one of the six who is a traitor. Advertisement If you're not familiar with Paul Ryan's antics over the past several months, here's a quick recap. Several days ago, WikiLeaks discovered a series of emails on Huma Abden's computer, only identified document 1,078,645. At the emails, it was revealed how six Republican traitors have been actively working with Hillary to get Trump removed from office, as she's been buying them off with funds straight from her Clinton Foundation. In addition to Paul Ryan being one of the traitors named, Hillary has also been patting the pockets of John McCain, Lindsey Graham, Jeb Bush, Carly Fiorina, and John Kosich, buying their alliance against Trump. One of the emails said that Kosich was on board. The emails was sent to Paul Ryan just days before Ryan went back on his promise to aid President Trump at a speaking event in Wisconsin. Along with Paul Ryan's outrageous slandering of our president where he publicly lambasted Trump while siding with Antifa terrorists following the Charlottesville incident, we're now finding out that Ryan is actually working with the liberals and doing all he can to stop the American people's agenda. He doesn't want Trump in D.C. and he doesn't want him to win in 2020. The wall is happening regardless of Paul Ryan. As Ryan goes back on the promise he made in December of last year to support the president's agenda, now a White House insider is reveals that Ryan is working with D.C. Democrats to get the government shut down over the building of Trump's border wall, knowing a government shutdown will cast Trump in horrible light. What do you think about this? Watch NFL player tells the truth about Colin Kaepernick. NFL Buffalo Bills running back LaShawn McCoy said what we've all known since this whole Colin Kaepernick controversy started. He's just not that good. That is why he doesn't have a job. Numerous people have said that Kaepernick isn't employed because he's black. They seem to forget the bulk of the NBA and NFL employees. They're predominantly black. LaShawn McCoy disagrees. McCoy opened up to the media on this. Advertisement It's a lot more than just he's not on the team because he doesn't want to stand for the national anthem. That may have something to do with it, but I think also it has a lot to do with his play. I'm sure a lot of teams wouldn't want him as their starting quarterback. That chaos that comes along with it, it's a lot. As a team, trying to win and not have a distraction on the team. I just take that as a player, there's certain players that could be on the team with big distractions, and there's other players that it's not good enough or not worth it. It's about time someone that plays in the NFL opened up about the matter. McCoy hit this right on the head. Numerous players have steered clear all the while some other degenerates have protested the anthem. It's like a virus. Kpernick's supporters try to act like he has a superstar future. He had a couple of good years under Jim Harbaugh. 
he had a great defense to carry him. It's fantasy land these Kaepernick supporters are living in. If Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson came out tomorrow in support of Sharia law in America, both would still be on NFL rosters. Why? Because they are Hall of Fame caliber quarterbacks. That's pretty much McCoy's point in a nutshell. Advertisement McCoy will be called an Uncle Tom soon enough. What do you think of McCoy's statement? Look which Hollywood liberal took a stand with Colin Kaepernick. It was only a matter of time before desperate Hollywood elitists who can't stand to not have their name in the spotlight join Colin Kaepernick and his crusade against the national anthem. Why do the left and the people in Hollywood hate the anthem and America so much? Didn't he this nation give them everything they've ever wanted? Fame and enormous wealth is awesome. Advertisement Actress and activist Susan Sarandon joined alongside the estimated hundreds of Colin Kaepernick supporters participating in the United We Stand march outside of the NFLS headquarters in New York City Wednesday. The Thelma and Louise star tweeted a photo of the protesters on Twitter endorsing this nonsense to her 500,000-plus Twitter followers. She even captions the tweet to her alley support for Colin Kaepernick. She said that she stands with Kaepernick. NAACP leaders and left-wing activist Linda Sarsour headlined the rally, which was meant to show support for the former San Francisco 49ers star who has yet to land a roster spot on an NFL team after causing controversy last season by kneeling for the national anthem during pre-game ceremonies. The loser quarterback who lacks starter talent turned into a social justice warrior to try and work more money into contracts. He did kneel drying the anthem while calling the nation racist and being paid millions. Though he sported a Fidel Castro shirt and some pig cop socks at some 49ers official events. He grew out his beard and let his hair grow long. He didn't he dress properly and I can't he imagine why he isn't he getting a job. He s definitely a loser. He do s not he have a job because he s not a good quarterback and then he isn't he worth the attention to talent ration that he brings. Some signs from Wednesday's rally included messages that said Black Lives Matter scoreboard. Kaepernick equals hero. NFL equals zero and, he took a knee for me. ILL take a stand for him. What do you think about this? Breaking Liberal Hollywood Actor Arrested for Terrorism Hollywood has a long history of actors getting in trouble with the law. They can t seem to remember that they are just like everyone else when it comes to the law. Well, R. Marcos Taylor joined a long line of Hollywood losers who can t obey the law. Many stars have even seen their own careers destroyed by the terrible decisions they have made in their personal lives. Advertisement it wasn't he too long ago that the young actor decided that his career might not worth keeping after he got arrested for violating the law. There have been multiple sites that are dedicated to the entertainment industry who have outed this actor for what he did. Marcos Taylor played Suge Knight in the hit film Straight Outta Compton. He allegedly went on a vicious rampage at a New Jersey bank and threatened to kill the employees and he lunged at the police. He was arrested for making terroristic threats. Police say they were called to a disturbance at a local bank where they encountered Taylor. He was reportedly furious about the issue he was having at the bank. There is no way that we can keep letting losers like this get away for their crap. Yes, he will be indicted, but he will be let go quickly and be hired again making him think he can act a fool and his D-list start status will get him out of jail no problem. This creates a major issue. When someone do s and think they will be held accountable for their actions, they will do whatever they want whenever they want regardless of whether it is legal or not. What do you think of this? Do you think he should get some lengthy jail time?